Hey, hey, God bless everyone. Listen, the neighborhood I live in, you got a little bit of everything. There's commercial, where there's businesses, you have residential, and you have the riffraffs, drug addicts, acting for money, hustling, doing their thing. And most of the time when I go out, I run into a few of them. Some of them were clients of mine. I worked as a drunk counselor, drunk counselor in a detox unit. They see me, Sammy! And some of them, they already know me because I shared my testimony with them when I first got here. And so they asked me for a dollar or two. If I got it, I give it to them. I know what they want. They're hustling. One of them calls me pastor all the time. Hey, pastor, pray for me. I go pray for him. Another one calls me preacher. Pray for me. Pray for her. I'll give him a dollar or two when I can. There's a young lady. One time she was walking around barefoot. I said, listen, I'm going to get you a pair of sneakers. I came upstairs. I gave her a pair of sneakers. She wore them. She asked me for one dollar. She says, give me, give, can you give me? I want to get something to eat, man. I says, listen, I ain't got no cash on me. She said, there's an ATA machine. ATM machine right there in the corner. I said, I don't like to use those, man. I usually go to my bank, but I'm going to do that for you that one time. So I went in there. I pulled out $10. They had $10. So I gave her the whole $10. I said, look at me. I want you to look at my face. I got close to her. I said, look at my face. I said, the next time you ask me for something, I tell you I don't have it. I tell you I don't have cash. You need to respect that and keep walking. Say hi and bye. Don't be telling me to go to an empty. I'm no, you're not pimping me. If I tell you I don't have it, I don't have it. I told a guy the other day, he came to me for some cash. I said, listen, when I got money, I can give it to you. I'll come to you. You don't have to come to me. I know what you want. So I saw him yesterday. I gave him $2. I said, don't forget. If I don't come to you, don't come to me. And so I give him that look. That's my look. When I looked at her, I said, look at my face. She said, oh. Maybe God put me here to be a light in the midst of darkness. There's no preachers here, no evangelists, no pastors, no church. They're like sheep, lost. So Perhaps God's using me to witness to them, share my testimony, to pray for them. You never know. I know somebody was praying for me when I was running around crazy. But the idea is that I have to learn to swim with the sharks. This is a concrete jungle. with es una selva de cemento. Y que aquí hay tiburones, culebras, leones. So, yo doy respeto para que me respeten. Le dije, mírame mi cara. Si yo no vengo de ti para ofrecerte un peso o dos, no, no vengan de mí. No venga, no te acerque a mí. Y ahí hizo. Oh. So, that's the way that I roll. That's the way that I work with people. Sometimes I'm doing a video and they see me, Sammy, I say, come here, say something to the people. I put them on the video. I respect them. They're God's creation, not God's children. Because they're not born again, but they're God's creation. And I treat them with respect and kindness. But I let them know. I tell them there's a beast inside of me. And it's sleeping. I wouldn't want it to wake up. They said, oh, okay, Sammy. Okay. That's it. They don't come up to me. When I got it, I go up to them. Here, here. Here's a dollar. Here's two. Other than that. And that's my testimony for everybody. Mm.